What are the most common What are the most common problems from dental procedures? My name is Attorney George Tate. Well, my name is George Tate. The attorney goes in front of it. My name is George Tate. I've practiced dental injury law uh, coming on 20 years, over 20 years, helping people throughout Utah when they have problems with dentistry. The most common injuries from dental care are nerve injuries, wrong tooth extraction or treatment, and failure to refer. We can talk about each of those. Nerve damage primarily involves the inferior alveolar nerve, a nerve that runs along the bottom of your jaw, or the lingual nerve, the nerve that obviously innervates your tongue. You have one on each side, of course, innervating half your tongue. So if one of the lingual nerves is damaged, it affects half your tongue and vice versa, of course. Uh, we get many, many calls that the wrong tooth had been treated and it becomes a problem when the wrong tooth is extracted. When the wrong tooth is extracted, of course, the remaining tooth, the, the one with the original problem, also needs to be extracted. So eventually, when that tooth is extracted, you're left with a gap in your mouth requiring sometimes two, most oftentimes one implant. Now, if you're young and that happens and the wrong tooth is extracted, you're gonna to have to have an implant placed to the tune of about $2,000. Implants last about 10 years, so you have to have that replaced or you have to have the money to have that replaced about every 10 years. And of course, that's a problem. The other issue is failure to refer. Uh, dentists in the state of Utah can practice virtually any dentistry. They can uh, practice uh, orthodontics, periodontics, uh, general dentistry, of course. The problem becomes when they operate out of their field of practice, what they've been taught to do. When they do that, they can certainly do it, and if there's not a problem, no problem. But if they take on the care of a periodontist or an orthodontist, they are held to that standard. So, if it turns out bad, of course, they're operating out of the scope of their practice and they need, uh, the patient needs to be compensated. Uh, I'll tell you a story. A, a uh, elderly woman went into a dentist, had a tooth extracted, and as we all grow older, we lose bone in our mandible, lower, lower mouth, lower jaw. And during the course of the extraction, her jaw was broke. Now that can happen, even in the best of care. But what happened in this case is that the dentist didn't tell her. The fracture was a hairline fracture, but the wisdom tooth that was extracted was, was a deep molar, deep into the bone. She came back repeatedly, week after week after week, and this went on for months, trying to get some resolution for her pain. He never once told her that the jaw was broken. Of course, the bone got infected, ended up with a thing called osteomyelitis, which is an infection of the bone, required a large piece of her bone to be removed, IV intravenous uh, uh, antibiotics for an extended period of time. She ended up with a metal plate and bone reconstruction, very expensive, very prolonged, very painful treatment. All unnecessary, had he simply referred her to an oral surgeon who could have looked after the problem from the get-go. Sad case. Anyways, if you have questions, we're happy to answer them. That's what we're here for. You can contact us, reach out to us, whatever, phone, email. We're happy to help you. All you have to do is give us a call.